Keeping your CPU cool is so important for performance and longevity, and this AIO liquid cooler does do a really good job of handling the heat, and it also looks really cool. I don't think anybody is going to deny that it does look pretty cool and in comparison to air coolers it does offer lower peak temperatures and faster heat dissipation which makes it a great choice for high performance builds which yes i am fully aware that there are some air coolers out there that do a good job at keeping the cpu cool but i don't think anybody is going to argue with me that aios do a much better job at this overall so the pump operates quietly and efficiently it's not going to annoy you when you're sitting next to your computer or anything like that and the included radiator fans do do a really good job at moving air through it while staying relatively quiet. With the PWM control, the system does adjust speeds dynamically. This AIO is an excellent addition to any computer build. It offers great cooling performance. The noise levels are low. They're not going to annoy you. And personally, I know that aesthetics come down to personal preference, but I do think that it looks cool. So if you're running a high-end performance CPU, if you're streaming, if you're doing any overclocking, recording, or anything like that on your computer, then I can definitely recommend this thing because it will keep your CPU stable and running nice and cool which will increase the longevity of it the case is more than a box that holds all of the components it impacts the airflow inside of your computer how cool things are going to actually run cable management and aesthetics for this pc build we ended up choosing a case that balances functionality style and makes everything inside of it very simple to install this case feels solid with the sturdy frame and well-placed cutouts the design complements the build the tempered glass side panels do add a nice premium touch while showcasing the internal components but as always that is going to take more time on your end doing cable management in order to make everything actually look nice this case provides provides excellent airflow for the style of case that it actually is and you're not going to run into any issues here just keep in mind that with good cooling means that you're going to have to do more maintenance on your end cleaning the actual dust filters. The front panel includes a good selection of ports for people looking to easily plug something in and transfer anything. I personally use the front IO on my personal computer more than anything when it comes down to transferring media, recordings, etc. So as simple as a front panel port may seem, having fast ports is a really nice thing to actually have and this case offers that. A great case makes building easier, it feels premium, and it keeps the system cool while looking good and this one checks all of the right boxes. The power supply is definitely one of the most overlooked items inside of any computer build and for this system we ended up choosing a PSU that is going to provide stable power, efficiency, and reliability in order to keep everything running smoothly. Warranties are always changing so I'm not going to mention that here but if you do plan on getting a different GPU just remember to keep that in mind because most companies with longer warranties stand by their product. The ones with shorter ones are the ones that you should be wary of. And if I was you, I would just avoid any of those. The PSU is from a reputable brand with quality components, ensuring stable voltage regulations and long-term durability. And even under the load, the PSU remains quiet thanks to an efficient cooling design. But I got to be really honest here. I would be lying if I ever noticed any power supply making more noise than the actual system out of the hundreds of computer builds that I have done that is just something that I have never 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 noticed and I always benchmark the computers before I send them off to my customers a good PSU is the foundation of a stable and reliable PC build and this one delivers on all fronts it's efficient quiet and it's built to last if you're picking a PSU just make sure that you choose one that has all the safety features if you end up planning on getting one other than this one because if anything happens like a power surge I don't want your entire system to be fried. Obviously, you can get a surge protector in order to counter that, but still. The motherboard that we ended up using in this PC build is great. It offers all of the ports that you're going to need. The build quality is there. The power delivery and efficiency is great. RAM support is well done. Expansion and connectivity are also on par. The BIOS and all of the features inside of the BIOS is going to have everything that you're going to need. And then as far as aesthetics go, that is always going to be personal preference reference but I do think that the motherboard looks great and it fits the build perfectly. A good motherboard always balances performance, features, and future upgrades whether that's going to be for gaming, content creation, or just general use and this offers all of that. 
Most motherboards now have AI overclocking with a click of a button, so the BIOS isn't really that important anymore as far as that side goes. Of course, the BIOS is important and is what allows everything to actually work and for the PC to boot in the first place, but manually configuring that on your own isn't really needed anymore. So you're going to be using the application for the motherboard way more than anything. Overall, this is a great motherboard. The GPU really is the driving force behind gaming performance and creative workloads on your computer. And for this build, we ended up picking a graphics card that is going to deliver across the board and isn't going to let anybody down that is trying to build something similar. In real world use, this card handles most modern games at high settings with a smooth frame rate. And one of the benefits of PC gaming are the settings that nearly every single video game has, which you can adjust. So if you have a 4k monitor and or tv but the graphics card is not getting the fps that you would like you can either lower the settings in order to get more fps or you can simply use dlss which is nvidia's deep learning super sampling and image rendering technology that uses artificial intelligence in order to improve the quality of images and performance inside of video games so 1440p and 4k gaming is pretty simple and the gpu delivers a great experience i'm saying it in this way so that it is not misleading to anybody watching this because one game can be played at 4k max settings and get 200 fps but another game can't even hit a stable 60 fps with the exact same settings performance heavily depends on the title that you're actually playing pretty much any current modern gpu that you could possibly buy nowadays even the bottom of the barrel graphics card is going to be able to play games at 1440p because of these settings and then dlss so overall this graphics card delivers excellent performance the cooling is great and it looks cool as well Good airflow is going to be key in order to keeping a system cool and running efficiently and these PC case fans do do a solid job of moving air through the case in order to help keep the CPU, GPU and all the other components inside of it from overheating. Whether you're gaming or running demanding workloads, the temperatures do stay in check without excessive noise and one of the standout features of these fans is how quiet they are, even at the higher RPMs. Just make sure that you connect these things properly inside of the PC so that they're not running at full blast 24 7 because that is a pretty common issue that i see a lot of people asking me questions about in the comment section and if i'm to be completely honest here i used to run into that exact same problem when i began building computers myself so just make sure that you plug the fans into the motherboard not the actual power supply these fans strike a great balance between cooling noise levels and aesthetics whether you're prioritizing maximum airflow a silent operation or just a stylish look having a good fan setup is going to be essential for a well-cooled and long-lasting system and these fans offer all of that stuff across the board the memory that we ended up using inside of this PC is great. Memory is crucial for system performance, and in this setup, we've gone with the configuration that balances speed, capacity, and future-proofing for any other upgrades like swapping a CPU or GPU. Dual memory is definitely the best way to go when it comes down to installing RAM. Using all four slots or just one slot never performs as well as dual channel memory, but thankfully, the motherboard that we did end up getting here didn't give me any blue screen screens of death with four sticks of memory and overclocking it so that is a bonus for both the motherboard and the memory that we ended up choosing most motherboards now have an ai overclocking feature whether that's xmp for intel or expo for amd so i just used the ai feature i didn't go into the bios and do anything manually but nonetheless everything is running smoothly by using that ai feature for gaming and productivity focused builds like this one having faster ram helps with the overall system responsiveness but as always ram is memory and is playing a role inside of the entire computer so pairing fast ram with a low-end cpu and or gpu is never going to feel the same as pairing fast RAM with a top of the line CPU and GPU. Overall, this memory kit complements the build perfectly. It's fast, stable, and future-proofs it enough for both gaming and heavy workloads. 
So if you're building a similar rig to this one, this is definitely going to perform very well for you. Storage plays a massive role in overall system speed and responsiveness. And so for this build, we've gone with an NVMe M.2 SSD in order to keep things ultra fast and efficient. So let's break down how this fits into the setup. The SSD delivers blazing fast read and write speeds, making a huge difference in boot times, game load times, and just overall system responsiveness. Compared to traditional SATA SSDs or even hard drives, it is a night and day difference. Applications launch instantly, large files transfer in seconds, and there's zero bottleneck when multitasking. One of the main things that you want to look out for if anybody is going to look for a different NVMe is to make sure that both the read and write speeds are on par with what you are expecting. There's a lot of companies out there that are only going to show one of those, making people think that it's actually lightning fast when the other option is one eighth the speed and it's just going to be a complete slug so just make sure that you pay attention to that this NVMe SSD is an excellent choice for this build and is from a trustworthy company so you know the reliability is going to be there. If you're upgrading from an older SATA SSD or hard drive, you are going to immediately notice the speed boost. It is absolutely crazy how much faster an NVMe is in comparison to a normal SSD or hard drive. Whether that's for gaming, content creation, or just general use, an NVMe M.2 SSD is a must-have in any modern computer. The processor is the heart of the build which is going to be handling everything from gaming and multitasking to content creation and productivity. The CPU that we've ended up choosing here is great for performance, efficiency, and future-proofing the overall build. The chip delivers strong single-core performance for gaming and high multi-core performance for demanding workloads like video editing, streaming, photo editing, and things of that nature. Whether you're running games at high frame rates or just handling intensive applications, the CPU is going to keep up without breaking a sweat. Power draw remains efficient for the performance level and the chip has headroom for overclocking, but as always, cooling is going to play a massive role when it comes down to overclocking, so just make sure that you have a good CPU cooler like we ended up getting for this computer. This processor is an absolute powerhouse for this build, delivering excellent performance across the board, whether that's going to be for playing video games, whether that's somebody that's into content creation and wants to get into streaming and recording, or just handling professional workloads using things like the Adobe Suite, DaVinci Resolve, and things of that nature. It's fast, efficient, and it's ready for the future. So overall, I highly recommend this thing.